Okay, so in this question here, um, we've got this tank that fills up with this liquid, okay, and as it fills up then, and it reaches um, the maximum depth, okay, as much as can get in the tank, it then empties it then into, I think it says, empties it into a tanker, and then the whole process starts again, okay. So as soon as it's emptied then into the tanker, the same thing, same pattern then repeats itself over a period of course of five hours. It takes three hours for the, for the tank to fill, and then... Um, it takes two hours for it to empty into the tanker. So it says then, what is the depth of the liquid in the tank two and a half hours into the process? So we look two and a half hours, this, the time there, two and a half. We draw a line up to that graph um, until it hits the graph and we could see then the depth of it is there, isn't it? Now, that's gonna be five, that's five and a half, isn't it? So five and a half meters, that's the depth. How long in minutes does it take to, fit, to half fill the cylindrical tank? So cylindrical tank has been filled to six meters. Half full would be three, three meters, wouldn't it? So three would be half full. So we go across that three to the curve, draw a line down, gotta be careful here. Okay, and you can see that um, it's actually six little squares. So that would be, because that's one there, that would be 0 0.6, wouldn't it? 0 0.6. Um, um, 0 0.6, of course, that's in hours, isn't it? Yeah, because the time is now, and they want it in minutes, so you need to know um, how to convert this. And the way I would go about it is, is 0 0.6, of course, is 6 tenth. Okay, so 6 tenth of an hour. Okay, and um, that's what 0 0.6 is, isn't it? 6 over 10. And then um, you just work out what 1 tenth is and times it by 6. So 1 tenth of an hour. Okay, so 60 minutes, isn't it? 60 minutes divided by 10 is 6 minutes. So one tenth is six minutes. That means six tenths is six of them, so that's thirty-six minutes. Okay, there's our answer there. Right. Um, part C then it says the tank is left empty over the weekend. The continuous process starts each Monday at seven o'clock by filling the tank. This process of filling and emptying the tank continues until shutdown on Friday. Part one, explain what is happening at 2,000 hours on Monday, given the depth of liquid in the tank. Okay, so um, if it starts at seven o'clock, okay, so start, okay, at seven o'clock, okay, that means it's empty then, okay? It's empty at seven o'clock, because it says it's empty over the weekend, so it starts then. And um, we just need to think, when will it be empty again? Um, if you go along here, it takes five hours, doesn't it, for the whole process for it to fill and then empty into the tanker. So if we add five hours on, okay, add five hours onto that, we get to 12 o'clock midday. So it'll be empty there. Add another five hours. So that'll take you to 1,700 hours. It'll be empty. And if I add another five hours, I'll go past eight o'clock or night. If we think about it now, we need to think about how many more hours. So it'd be an extra three hours, wouldn't it? Three more hours until eight o'clock. Okay, so it's empty at five o'clock. An extra three hours, what happens after three hours? After three hours, look, the tank is full, isn't it? It's got to its maximum depth after three hours. So at 20 hundred hours, okay, um, tank is full. Okay, i.e. depth of six meters. Okay, um, part two then says the process has to shut down with the tank empty as soon after, but not before, um, 1900 hours on a Friday. At what time should the process shut down on a Friday? You must surely work it. So it's got to shut down on Friday when it's empty. Okay, so we need to end that sort of cycle. And it's got to be after 1900 hours on Friday, not before. Okay, so um, what time, yeah? What time will it be empty? Well, if we think about the process, it's five hours, isn't it? Five hours for it to fill and empty. So we're looking at multiples of five. What I would do is I would try and work out when it starts on a Monday, okay, which is seven o'clock on a Monday it starts, um, all the way to Friday, um, to 1900. Okay, I would try and maybe work out um, how many hours there are in that range of time from Monday to Friday. Okay, and then we can see then how many times it can empty and, and fill and so on. 
Now, Monday to Friday, those times, well, if we just skip in days, if you think about it, Monday um, to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, so if we first of all go from Monday 0700 to Friday 0700, okay, that will be four days if you think about it, because Monday to Tuesday is one, Tuesday to Wednesday is two, Wednesday to Thursday is th three. Um, and then Thursday to Friday is four. So it'll be four lots of 24 hours, okay, which will be 96 hours. And then from Friday, um, 0700 to Friday, 1900, that would be 12 hours, okay, in total. So the gap in the time, it, you could say it's operational. 96 plus 12 which is 108 hours okay in that sort of time but of course it can't stop before 1900 hours so it's going to be as soon after as possible so we we need to see what time we'll finish well if it's going up in multiples of five yeah every five hours we'd need an extra two hours to make that 110 okay so so 110 hours is needed to, so that it's empty So an extra two hours means it will finish at um, 21 hours on Friday. Okay?